And welcome back everyone to Night Time Developments. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over a simple cutscene system, which is triggered by a trigger plate. Basically, when your character steps on, a simple dialogue pops up, which basically explains whatever it is that you want. It could be just explaining the next mission, the task, the rules of the game, how to play the game. It is very important for your players to actually understand what your project is about and how exactly they should enjoy it since you put in a lot of work and you want it to work out great. So this is a very simple tutorial and I provide you guys with absolutely all of the code. It is very simple and right to the point. Also, this tutorial was inspired by Ponderoni, so go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Let's get into the video. And we're going to go ahead and start off in an empty project just so you guys see that everything is done from scratch. Go ahead and go to the Avatar tab, Brick Builder, Block Avatar, since these are the most compatible ones in the whole game. Quickly duplicate it, drag it right here, and then turn them around just to kind of face the other character. So, just kind of, that's good. Now you're going to take the first one, call him something like, I don't know, Brig A. That's good enough. And then the second one is just going to be Brig B. The name doesn't really matter right now. So, now we're going to go to the very first one, click the little plus sign, and then add a script. And then we're also going to add a animation so we're looking for animation click that now we're going to quickly just do a simple animation and i'm just going to speed right through this since this is more about the system and not actually animating pretty much anything so i'm just going to do a simple wave so i'll just add a body take his right arm and then just quickly do a simple wave so so I'll, ju I'll just kind of have him here, and then here, and then here. And then make sure you actually loop these, and then you also want them to be pretty long, so just kind of spread it out. Looks something like this. Doesn't have to be good. Click the three dots, publish to Roblox. Doesn't really matter. Okay, let's just do wave. Save. Copy this ID right here. And then you can close that. Quickly go back to rig A. Find where you added the animation. It's usually on the bottom. Where it says animation ID, go ahead. Paste it in. Click enter. And then take this animation. And then drag it into the script right here. So it's under the script. Then in the description below this video, it will take you to this document right here. Copy the part, only the four lines under the animation. Copy those, go back to the game. Quickly open up the script. Clear everything out. Paste it in. Great. Now, right here, copy this. So you're copying the script and the animation. And you're just pasting it into rig B. And if you want a separate animation for rig B, you would just make another one and then change the animation ID. But I'm not going to do that now. Now you're going to quickly just add a part. So go to model, click part. And this is actually going to be the part that triggers the dialogue. And then I'm going to actually name this something like cutscene part make sure it is spelled exactly like this if you mess this up right now it's not going to work so make sure it's letter per letter cap caps per caps everything matches and just save it now you're going to quickly go to starter gui add a screen gui then you're going to click on the screen gui add a text label and you should see it pop up right in this top right corner go ahead take it drag it to right about the middle and then scale it to where you kind of like it. So, mm, I think right here. Now, quickly scroll down to where you see something like text scaled. Click this, and then we'll just scale the text to the size of your um, label box. 
Now we're going to quickly, under the text label, click the plus sign, add a script, and then you're once again going to go underneath this video and copy now the part of the code that's under the dialogue. Quickly copy that, go back to the game, and then just paste it in. And once again, cutscene part, make sure this name right here matches the cutscene part perfectly. If you don't get this right, it's not going to work. Now, quickly, going over this. This is your dialogue, and then you can see the wait times in between every single line said. So, 4 seconds, 5 seconds. If you want the commands to say something different, you would literally just delete this, write something else, and then you can add or subtract more or less. And then, that's basically it for the dialogue system. Now, quickly, go to the text label find where it says so right here delete this label clear this out just so there isn't any other names and then find the line that says visible right here and click it off so your character starts off with this part invisible and let's quickly test the system as you can see the characters are already playing the simple wave animation but there is no dialogue until I actually go ahead and touch this part and as you can see it came on and then it will change for the set times that I have set in this script so four or five seconds and then it will just say whatever it is that you want so that's basically the tutorial you finish this and then if you wanted to look like I did in the beginning that's just a lot of cosmetics but this is the base system and then as you can see when the conversation ends it will disappear but you could replay it by just stepping back on the object so i hope you actually enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you like how it came out so see you in the next one